Hey there, this is Michelle at East Ave Art, and today I'm going to show you how I digitized one of my watercolors to create a cover page for my June bullet journal spread. So I want to take a, a painting that I did in my sketchbook and digitize it and transfer it into my dot grid notebook, which I use as a bullet journal, kind of a monthly planner. And the way that I do this is I start by uploading a picture and I use my iPad to digitize. So the first thing I'm going to do is measure because I can never remember the dimensions of my notebook. So I wanted to get the inches and it's about five and a half by eight and that'll come in handy later. So I'm going to go into my iPad and open up an app called Procreate. Um, which is a great app. Um, you can see it allows me to digitize a lot of my artwork. One of the strategies I use to digitize is to erase the background that you can see um, in my picture. And I just use the eraser function. And you can see on the left hand side, I can make the eraser thicker or more narrow depending on the size. And then you can see where you can use your two fingers to either zoom in or zoom out, just kind of like, like a typical iP iPad or an iPhone function. And I'm just going ahead and erasing this little last bit of um, background that came over from the picture that I took of my, um, my original painting here. So just while I'm finishing up erasing, I think Procreate is a great app. Um, once you download it, you don't have to pay like a monthly subscription. And I think it has a lot of similar functionality to like a Photoshop or some of those other Adobe tools that you have to pay like a subscription or a licensing fee to every month. And it's pretty hefty, hefty. So I feel like Procreate is a really good option. And I also have a preference of using um, my Apple Pencil to digitize my artwork, so just... Okay, so I'm going to take three fingers and I'm going to swipe down and that opens up the option that allows me to copy this and I'm going to go to my home screen and open up a new dialog here. I'm going to open up a new page and I'm going to set the dimensions to be the same dimensions as uh, the size of my bullet journal that you saw me measure out. So about five and a half by eight. And um, this allows me to change it to inches and to enter those. And once I do that, I'm gonna click okay. And so this is my new file, five and a half by eight. I'm gonna do the three swipes down again and click the paste option. And um, you can see I can adjust it around on the page just how I like it. And I'm going to um, eventually go ahead and email this to myself by hitting the um, tool icon in the top and then share. Um, so I don't print from my iPad. I don't have my printer set up like that. So I've got to send it to my computer. So I do that via email. Okay, so here I am on my laptop and I'm getting ready to print um, from my laptop. I am going to print it on an 8.5 by 11 and then I'll just go ahead and um, cut after I've printed it. But, you know, the size is what I want it to be for the size of my bullet journal, like the size of the illustration. Um, it just ended up on a 8.5 by 11, so you can see me um, cutting there. And then once I get the size about how I like it, I'm going to put some double-sided tape on the back and then fit it into my bullet journal for my June cover page. So here I have my cutting mat and I was kind of trying to decide how to cut the excess off, um, the excess paper off. And a lot of times I do a Dutch door for my bullet journals. You might have noticed that my, my bullet journal um, 
cover page was a Dutch door. So I'm like thinking that's what I want to do here, but I ended up changing my mind as you'll see. And there you go. So here's the final product of my digitized watercolor painting for my June bullet journal. Thanks so much for watching and please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this.